In this video, you're going to learn how to find the specific term in a binomial expansion, and I'm going to show you how to do it very quickly. We're going to go through four examples together. I want to show you a little background on how to, this works and how to zero in on a particular term. So let's dive in. The first example I want to show you is this quantity here, 3x minus 2 to the fifth power, and we want to find the third term. Now, the very slow way to do this would be to take 3x minus 2 times another 3x minus 2 times another 3x minus 2, five of those, and multiply them together. It's going to take quite a bit of time. So another way to approach it is to use the binomial expansion theorem and Pascal's triangle to expand the whole binomial. Then you can find that third term. Now, we want to just be able to zero in on a particular term without having to do the entire expansion. But let me just show you a pattern. So if we want to expand a binomial, okay, so binomial means two terms, okay, what we can do is we can use Pascal's triangle. Remember, it's constructed with each row starts with one and ends with one, okay, and then you're adding those two terms above it to get the term below it. So one plus one is two, or one plus two is three. But if you're wanting to expand a binomial to the fifth power, you're going to want to go down to the fifth row. Keep in mind, this starts at row 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When you get further down Pascal's triangle, the second number will tell you what row you're on. So in this case, this is row 5. If you want to understand a little bit better where these numbers are coming from, you can also use combinations, which you might have learned about previously. So this NCR. So for example, this 1 right here represents a 5C0, 5 combination 0. And this one here would be 5C1, all the way to 5c5. Okay, so that's where these numbers, you can just jump right to that particular value. Now when we do an expansion, we can do it like this. We can say 5 combination 0. We're going to take the first term, which is 3x to the fifth power. The second term, negative 2. Make sure to capture whether it's, you know, positive or negative. If it's negative, put that minus sign there, to the zeroth power. <clears throat> now if we go to the next term, 5c1, 3x to the fourth power, negative 2 to the first power. So notice what I'm doing is I'm taking that first term and I'm going in descending order. And with the second term, I'm going in ascending order. It's going up. And so let me just continue and write the rest of these down. And I want to show you a pattern here. So notice as we're going down here, see this r value right here? See this r value? And the second term's exponent, they match. See, 0 and 0, 1 and 1, 2 and 2, 3 and 3. And notice that the two exponents here add up to this fifth power, right? 5 plus 0 is 5, 4 plus 1 is 5, 3 plus 2 is 5, etc. So if we continue, 5c4, 3x to the first, negative 2 to the fourth. Again, see, these are matching. And then our last term, 5c5, that's going to be 3x to the 0 and negative 2 to the 5th. Keep in mind that these are all going to be added together. And then you can simplify. And that's going to be your binomial expansion. Now the third term, that's going to be this one right here. Let me just block it off here for us. Now notice we wanted to find the third term. Let's see how this is 5c2. It's one less. Why is it one less? Well, you can see here that in our Pascal's triangle, we started with 5c0, 5c1, 5c2. So the third term, because we started with a 0, it's going to be 1 less. That's an interesting pattern. Again, the pattern here that we said this r value and this second term's exponent, they match. And these two exponents have to add up to 5. So if I take a 5 minus 2, I can get 3. That's where I'm getting this formula right here from. So in this case, our third term is going to be 5c2, which is 10, times 3x cubed. So 3 cubed is 27x cubed. And negative 2 squared is 4. If we multiply that together, let's see what do we get. This is 108 times 10 is 1080x cubed. So that would be just zeroing in on that particular term. But notice this formula here. See, if we have a plus b to the nth power, this is going to be n c k minus 1. If we're finding the kth term, it's 1 less. The first term, a, to the n minus k minus 1, 
and b, the second term, to the k minus 1. Now, it looks complicated, but see how this is 1 less than the term we want? So if we wanted the third term, 3 minus 1 is 2, and this is 3 minus 1, which is to the second power, just like we have here. And then if this is 2, if we take the power, which is 5, okay, minus what the k minus 1 is, which is 2, that's going to give us 3, and that's what this uh, first term's exponent is. So let me show you three more examples where we can kind of zero with a laser-like focus in on that particular term, and I'll, I'll show you how this works. Okay, for example number two now, we want to uh, find the fourth term of the quantity 2x minus 5 to the seventh power. So how do we zero in on right on that term? Well, the first thing I like to do is I like to write the two terms. So the first term is 2x, the second term is negative 5. Again, making sure to capture if it's negative like that. And then we're on the seventh row. Okay, we, again, we could expand Pascal's triangle down to the seventh row if we want. Or we can use this formula with the combination. So it's going to be 7c. Now, if we want the fourth term, remember how it's one less because we're starting at zero. So this is 7c3. And remember the second term's exponent and this r value, they're going to match. So this is 3 and 3. These two exponents have to add up to 7. So 7 minus 3 is going to be 4. So that's our fourth term. Now we just have to simplify. So 7c3, we can do this on our calculator, or we can use this formula. So in this case, it's going to be n, which is 7. So that's going to be 7 factorial over n minus r. So that's going to be 7 minus 3, which is 4 factorial, r factorial, so 3 factorial. OK, and then here we have 2x to the fourth. So that's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's 16x to the fourth. And then negative 5 cubed is uh, negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5, three times. That's negative 125. But over here, see, 7 factorial is like 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, so you take that number and multiply down to 1. But notice we get some cancellation here. The 3, 2, and 1 cancel. This 4 and this 4 cancel. 3 times 2 is 6. That cancels with this 6. So we have 7 times 5 is 35. Divided by 1 is 35. So all we have to figure out now is what's 35 times 16x to the 4th times negative 125. So I'm going to go to the calculator here. I'm using a TI-84. If you want one of these, uh, I'll put a link for it. Okay, and I like this one. It's color. So this is, comes out to negative uh, 70,000 x to the fourth. So we zeroed in right on that particular term. Now sometimes they'll ask you, not necessarily the fourth term, but they'll say, what's the coefficient? You know, they'll say they just want the number in front of the variable. They just want the negative 70,000. So that's also kind of common. Let's do two more examples. Let's see if you can do these on your own and we'll go through them together. Okay, for number three, we've got 4a plus 3b all to the eighth power, but we want to find the seventh term. So without having to do the whole expansion, let's just zero in right on the seventh term. See if you can do this one. If I was going to do it, I would write down the first two terms, 4a and 3b, and I'm on the eighth row, which again, I could expand Pascal's triangle down to the eighth row, but when it starts to get to a higher power, it, it takes quite a bit of time to write that out. So we're going to use our combinations formula here. So it's going to be 8c now, if I want the seventh term, remember how it's one less? So this is going to be 8c6, so 7 minus 1. So the seventh term with 8c6. And the second term, and this r value, the, these guys are going to match. Okay, The two exponents are going to add up to 8. So this is going to be 2. 2 plus 6 gives us 8. And that's going to be our seventh term. So all we have to do is simplify this. Now, again, we can do 8c6 on our calculator. And that'll take us right to the answer, or we can use this combinations formula. So this is going to be n, which is 8, so that's going to be 8 factorial over n minus r, so that's going to be 8 minus 6, which is 2 factorial, and then r factorial, which is 6 factorial. Okay, and then over here we have 4 squared, which is 16, a squared, and here we have 3 to the 6th, b to the 6th. Let's see, what's 3 to the 6th? It's... Um, Let's see, what does that come out to? So I'll we'll double check here. 3 to the 6, 729. But simplifying this now, 8 factorial, we know that's 8 
times seven, times six, times five, times four, times three, times two, times one, all over two factorial, that's two times one, and six factorial, that's six times five, times four, times three, times two, times one. Now notice the six, five, four, three, two, and one are reducing. Uh, two goes into eight four times, so we have four times seven is 28, divided by one is 28. So it's 28 times all of this, so 16, a squared, 729, uh, b to the sixth. So let's see what that comes out to. So 28 times 16 times 729, I'm getting uh, 3, 2, 6, 5, 9, 2, a to the second, b to the sixth. So that's your term that you're looking for. Let's do one last example. You can do this last example on your own, the quantity 5x minus y to the ninth power. You want to find the fifth term. And while you're doing that, I want to let you know about my Algebra 2 slash College Algebra video course for sale. If you like the way that I explain things, I go into more detail about you know, working with those problems in that course, how to understand the concepts, and we go through example problems together, and I give you some problems to practice on your own as well. So if you need help getting through Algebra 2 or College Algebra, Check out that course, I'll put the links uh, below. But let's do the last problem here now. So the way I like to do it, I think you're getting the feel for it, is I take the first term, 5x, then I take the second term, negative y, remember to capture if it's negative or not, and if I want the fifth term, I'm on the ninth row, but this is always gonna be one less, so this is gonna be five minus one, nine c four, right, k minus one, and then the second term's exponent and this r value, they match, that's four, these two exponents add up to nine, so nine minus four is gonna be five. That's our fifth term. All we have to do now is simplify. Now I can do nine C four on my calculator, okay? Or if you wanna show the work or do it by hand, you can use the combination formula. This is gonna be n factorial, which is nine factorial, over n minus r, okay, that's gonna be nine minus four, which is five factorial, r factorial. And then five to the fifth is how much? Let's see, I think it's uh, 3,125, okay. X to the fifth, and then negative Y to the fourth. Well, a negative to an even power is gonna be positive, and Y to the fourth is Y to the fourth. All we have to do is simplify this factorial expression. So nine factorial we know is nine times eight times seven times six times five factorial, that's five, four, three, two, one, divided by this five factorial, four factorial, so five factorial, five factorial is cancel. Four factorial is four times three times two times one. So let's see if we can reduce this. So three times two is six, that cancels with this six. Four goes into eight twice. Uh, nine times seven is 63, times two is 126, divided by one is 126 times the rest of this. So let's multiply that together. So we have 126 times 3,125, uh, and that comes out to 393750x to the fifth, y to the fourth, and that's our fifth term. So great job if you're able to follow these four examples. If you wanna learn more about binomial expansion, I'll put a video I did right there. If you want to go into more practice and uh, more depth, follow me over that video and I'll see you there.